Hello everybody, it's Zelda coming to you live, live, still alive. Okay, for some of you that don't know, I have multiple myeloma cancer. I haven't been on for a while because I was in the hospital. I was bleeding from my mouth. I have lesions in my skull and I'm doing great now. Um, I'm eating good. Um, I left the hospital. I weighed 90 pounds. They were going to put a feeding tube in me. But I'm um, doing insured drinks. And my husband's doing great taking care of me. I am so happy. Doing nail content is the best thing ever. Um, I appreciate you guys so much for liking and subscribing to my videos. Now, I love learning from you guys. If you could teach me to be a little slower, not so shaky, <laughs> I'd appreciate that. Thank you guys so much. I just wanted to give you a little update and let you know why, guys. I've been gone, and thank you guys more than anything in the whole world that you guys have been out there supporting me and praying for me. The prayers have been answered, and I love you all. Thank you. Okay, now to the video. Okay, let's get started. I hope I'm recording. This is base coat, and I'm putting it on top of the white so I can get powder, pigment powder, to stick to it. The white is just not sticky it's beetles white and it's just not sticky so I'm sticking it in and these are the colors I'm going to use and this is the brush I'm wearing gloves and somehow I still get everything on my gloves I'm trying to get better about not getting anything on my hands. <laughs> but I am wearing nails. I don't put these nails on because I'm wearing nails. It's pretty opaque powder. I was kind of amazed about that. And I try to get up a little bit to the blue to give it a little bit of a blend. If you can tell, I do kind of blend it. I'm sorry if you hear any strange sounds. I do have a kitten that thinks. He can fly. <laughs> he has this taco toy that is his favorite thing ever. And he runs around with it in his mouth all over the house. And then we get these cases of water that he likes to drop in the middle of it and try to get it out. And it puts holes in all our bottles of water <laughs> with his claws. I trim his claws as much as I can, but... You know, we end up getting bottles of water with holes in them. We haven't had it spill on the floor and soak the floor out. But, thank goodness. <laughs> but we have uh, found some water bottles. A little leaks hole, a little leak hole. And now I'm putting matte coat on it. Because I'm going to draw on it. Paint on it. <laughs> and... I want to lock in the um, pigment, and I also want to, this is why I'm using Colorful Julys, and I got it on my hand, so I cleaned it off my hand. This is the brush I'm using, 9mm, that's how long it is, and I think the it's thin. It's the thinnest brush I have, anyways. <laughs> I was working it through the brush, so all the bristles were wet. So hopefully it would work better. 
Not a whole lot of drawing on here. Just starting to put some dots around. Make some lines. It's working more with my artwork. Trying to stay under the camera. <laughs> yeah, different when you do it on there. Wiping off some of the gel. So I hardly have any product. And this gel is really good because it spreads like really good. So I'm really sad that Madame Glam isn't going to have any more pots. I never did get their pots, but I was always hoping to. Everybody using them and it working so well. So I don't know. I'm thinking about these pots. These seem to be working really well. I'm thinking about going to Colorful July and getting theirs, but you gotta be careful because I got one that was black and it was um uh, like a transparent black, and it doesn't tell you on their site that it's transparent. It shows you a picture, <laughs> and I bought four of them, <laughs> so I was really bummed out. But I got this one in a package. And I like it. And I'm putting base coat on these. So the pigment will stick to these. I hope you guys are having a great day. What is today? Wednesday, hump day. Well, this is the day I'm doing these, or doing the talk over. <laughs> I want to do one with sticky tabs. Because that's what I'm wearing, and they last me a week easy before they start to grab on my hair. And here I'm showing you what I'm trying to make. Well, I guess you've done seen it. So, a sun, a moon. <laughs> if I would have thought about it more, it was a picture I seen going through everything that I look at. On all social medias. Um, I've seen a few of them. So. I really don't know who did it. And mine of course looks different than everybody else's. But. Uh, I got inspiration to make it from. Pictures I was looking at. And I wanted to try the pigment out. <laughs> so I'll tell you as we go. Kind of messed up on it and let you see what you think about it. But yeah, if I'd done the moon, I would have done more of a, you know, gray in it. Make it more look like a moon. So we'll call this the sun. <laughs> it's bright. It was fun working with these powders. I have the glow-in-the-dark powders. They're light. And if you know me, I love glow-in-the-dark stuff. <laughs> so I do want to try something that glows in the dark, but I believe I want to do it for Christmas. Um, I'm not much into Halloween. Um, this is a Halloween set. <laughs> the tree. With stuff on it, but... Yeah, Halloween and me, just scary stuff. I don't know. I should have made something funny. I'm still learning. Still getting better. Controlling. My shakiness doesn't help, but I'm not shaky all the time. <laughs> In the green. I'm like, okay. Where does the green go? So I get this little thing. And I think I should have put the green here. And as I'm putting the green here. I'm like, wait a minute. This just doesn't look right. Okay, maybe I need to see the whole thing. 
Maybe that's why it doesn't look right. As I'm putting them on, I'm still not liking it. I'm like, no. This should have gone between the blue and the orange. I gotta get this off here. So I'm taking it off. And because it's on the base coat, it's letting me take it off. And I'm like, yay, it's letting me take it off. Because, <laughs> yeah, the green did not look right at all. It took away from the brightness of the yellow sticking out. I should have tried more harder. More harder? That made sense, huh? I should have tried harder to get it off the middle finger. But I cover it up. Since I wiped it off, there was still more sticky stuff to put. Cover it back up with the yellow. And I tap it. And stick it back in the lamp. <laughs> And I'm back to brush off a little bit. And then... I get out my trusty matte coat. To lock in the pigment. And also to make it easier to draw on with the paint. So the paint don't spread. So my tree limbs can be thin as I can make them without spreading and getting thicker. So matte coat makes it, you know, not spread. And I'm doing as best as I can not to, you know, I'm trying to flow it on. There's more on my brush than you think. <laughs> Looks good, let's see, um, yeah. So now the matte coat's on. I'm getting out this crazy black paint. <laughs> and it's, you think I would just take this lid off, but then it would be all over more. And I have to wash my fingers off again. And you know, I use a baby wipe and it does not take it off. This is some strong color paint. <laughs> Excuse me. I use these. <laughs> these are great. These are real. The cure is really um, wet with acetone. And I really like that. Now I'm figuring where do I put this to make it work the best. And again I'm using the same brush. Work it through again a little bit. Make sure the bristles are wet. And now I start. Okay, fingers crossed, right? On camera. <laughs> so my first tree limb. Okay, well, I kind of need this one to be a little thicker of a branch. And I got to get closer to my face. Because I'm on... I gotta get to the edges of the nail. I'm turning it sideways. Now I'll follow through. I never did a butterfly or anything, like how you connect your nails together. So, this is the first time I added nails that connect together on a design. And I think starting with a tree was the best way to do it. <laughs> Because, you know, trees aren't perfect. Um, they're, they're bumpy and misfitty. <laughs> My makeup words today. But I thought, that, that's what I'll do. I'll make a tree. But one day I'll get good and I'll make a butterfly. Look, look, I touched that other nail. And I do put more on the first nail. I don't leave it just like that. But let's make sure I get that nail. That branch has to go all the way over. Try to make it a little bit thicker. I bring it to the edge. So working on the stands, you have to take it off. Okay, now I would like to just carry on, but I'm going to have to wipe that off because it's just in the wrong spot. Okay, here we go.
I got really lucky with this brush making thin lines for me. And I don't think it's the brush so much as I think it is the paint. Because I've tried this with other paints and, uh, no. It runs. So, if you guys are having problems making thin lines, it's probably the quality of the paint. I think you do get your money's worth. I'm finding that out. Because when I started, I bought the cheapest. But sometimes it, there is good products out there that it doesn't cost that much money. It's just finding them. I got all my branches, so now I want to make a bird on the branch. Okay, a little bird. Can I do this? Okay, a little round circle. Little tail. His head looks alright. Hey, did it. That works. Flash gear. <laughs> looks okay to me. Okay, now I want to try and make a bat. Okay, like this, like this. Okay, how big am I making this bat? Yeah, I'm showing you. I didn't wipe it off. Look how wrong that looks. <laughs> I want to wipe it off now, but I showed you my mess up, because that did not look like anything that needed to be on there. I wanted a little bat. I made a little bird. I wanted a little bat. So let's try this again. Scoop. A little mark down there, a little mark down there, and some eyes. I'm not eyes, ears. Okay. That looks cute. Little bat. Flash here that. And put this up. Okay. Now cook them. And now some top coat. Let's put some shiny top coat to blend in the pigments and the black paint branches. And give it a little shine. There you go. That looks good, and it looks real good with the ones on the end. I appreciate you guys watching this and liking it and subscribing. I really do, you guys. I know I talked in the beginning. I hope that it worked <laughs> and came through. <laughs> but, you know, I'm just putting some top coat on it, and here are the nails. This is what i seen, something like this. I thought I'd give it a try. Sorry I'm so late at getting something out there. I'm working on something else. This is the top coat. I, or the top one I tried to put. Bye! <laughs>